Okey. Sambung. Okey, ini uh, apa? Partnership, saya partnership contract which is uh, as according to IOF FAS ya dia cakap musyarakah financing ni is a partnership between Islamic Bank and its client where both party will contribute equals or varying amounts of capital to establish new project right and then they akan share lah uh, in the existing ones punya business and then dia cakap tadi the capital can be on permanent or declining uh, basis and will have its due shares of profit okay. Itu dia punya secara teorinya. So, saya pun dah buat lah figures untuk kita nak uh, picture dia punya ayat-ayat tadi tu. So, musyarakah tu uh, macam dia cakap involving between Islamic Bank and also the client. So, um, uh, time ni Islamic Bank dia go into musyarakah contract with the client dan kedua-dua orang ni Islamic Bank and also the client akan uh, they contribute uh, like such amounts of capital to their business venture atau any project lah. So, uh, the client here uh, juga akan buat repayment ataupun kan tadi Islamic Bank dia provide capital kan to the business. So, business ni sebenarnya business client. So, uh, client ni kiranya kena bayar balik lah the capital atau uh, provided by the Islamic Bank tadi. So this is how the flows of the Musharrafa financing product ni. Okay. Alright. And then dia cakap uh, untuk contract ni ada beberapa syarat atau conditions of the Musharrafa. Ada tiga lah. Okay. The first one is regarding the capitals of agency. Right. Agency in Bahasa Arab is wafalahan. So dia nak cakap kat sini uh, transaction uh, dalam musyarakah ni must be capable of accepting the principles of agency or wakalah. That one is the main point. Maksudnya, um, siapa yang involved in musyarakah contract ni, dia kena accept yang dua-dua uh, partnership ni kena uh, place the rules as the agent agency ataupun as the agent dalam kontrak uh, itu. So uh, untuk first point ni dia nak cakap uh, siapa yang go into masyarakat kontrak dia kena accept yang dia tu adalah uh, agent dalam uh, proses masyarakat itu. Sekejap ada lagi orang nak masuk. Okay. That one on the first uh, condition. Uh, and then uh, the second condition dia cakap the fixing of the ratio of profit sharing kan uh, this is a contract uh, of partnership contract so maksudnya bila business tu atau project tu making any profit dia kena uh, determine dia punya pre-agreed ratio uh, in advance maksudnya masa mula-mula contract tu uh, dia sign dia kena uh, bincang and determine dia punya uh, pre-agreed ratio dahulu. Okay, so this is uh, dia cakap dalam slide ni lah ni what, eh. The ratio for the distributions of profit must be determined in advance. This is because the distributions of profit is part of the subject matter of the contract. Right, masa mula-mula nak going into contract. So, untuk determine the profit ratio is one of the fundamental element lah dalam uh, masyarakat kontrak ni. Dan dia kata, uh, if you ignore this kind of uh, concept atau condition, dia kata uh, the, the, the contract may be render ataupun uh, may be void and sebab tu the ratio of profit sharing tu must be known by all of the partners. This is the second condition. And then on the third condition, is regarding the profit sharing juga. Dekat sini dia nak cakap the profit sharing must be in ratio but not fixed amount. So uh, kan tadi mula-mula kita dah determine awal-awal uh, profit ratio sharing by all of the partners. Now uh, the ratio must be in a form of ratio uh, and it, it cannot be in a form of fixed amount like, like contohnya lah um, 
profit tu dah dibahagikan Oh nanti kalau bisnes ni dapat uh, profit Kau dapat rm ringgit, aku dapat rm ringgit. Okay dia tak boleh fix macam tu, dia mesti kena uh, in percentage lah Sebab apa dia cakap sini, sebab uh, the expected profit from the Mushoroka is still not known Thus the fixing and a certain amount to be given to any of the partners is not capitable lah Sebab profit uh, of the business tu awal-awal kita tak tahu pun business tu uh, making profit atau tak Tapi tiba-tiba dah kita allocate profit uh, masing-masing dapat berapa So sebab tu tak boleh lah uh, fix amount of profit Mesti kena in ratio form ataupun in percentage form lah Okay, that is the uh, three conditions uh, of Musharaka contract Now, uh, if suddenly lah the partnership to terminate the contract So this is the reason why uh, apa tu, why this contract uh, is being terminated Okay, the first reason is maybe uh, ada cancellations of the contract of Musharaka by any of the partners So maybe uh, tadi tu um, contohlah tadi ada partner uh, Islamic Bank and the client kan dalam tengah-tengah contract period Uh, the client nak cancel kontrak tu boleh So itu uh, terminik je lah dia punya kontrak Okay sebab dia kata musyarakat kontrak ni is not a binding kontrak So sebab tu lah dia boleh terminik je um, at his uh, own will lah Okay itu the first uh, reason why they want to terminik the kontrak And the second reason is maybe one of the partners uh, mati okay? uh, Boleh juga terus terminik lah kontraknya And another one is uh, maybe one of the partner uh, gila Permanent insanity Gila lah kan? So one of the partner gila tak boleh sebab um, Untuk kita nak going into any of the contract lah Ada fundamental element yang diperlukan Is um, orang yang insane betul tak? The people yang going into contract Any of the contract kena um, people yang uh, waras lah So if one of the partner tak waras uh, So automatically the contract akan terminik Okay Dan itu hanya teori je Yang penting is jurnal-jurnal tu Yang ni korang boleh like baca And hafal itu yang biasa kita buat kan Okay now uh, sama macam mudaroba, ijarah uh, Dia pun musyarakat ni pun ada type dia sendiri Okay Uh, musyarakah ni ada dua jenis types of musyarakah One is constant musyarakah and another one is musyarakah diminishing Ataupun musyarakah uh, yang um, Okay, ni saya dah tulis lah tapi ni Okay, constant musyarakah tu maksudnya uh, Dia punya capital yang uh, provided in the business venture is fixed But for uh, musyarakah diminishing to ownership ni Is uh, musyarakah yang the capital tu makin lama makin rendah Sebab apa? Sebab dia nak cakap mengatakan uh, the contract uh, ataupun the business the project tu at the end of the accounting period akan menjadi milik the client So ini pun kita dah belajar on chapter 3 Okay, uh, so dia cakap kat sini ada musyarakah yang ends with the ownership of the asset ke, project ke, business venture ke, macam tu And the partner may purchase the asset Okay Maksudnya uh, kalau musyarakat diminishing to ownership ni Kan tadi the client ni, uh, the Islamic Bank ni dia hanya provide like uh, capital untuk nak bantu client ni kan So now um, uh, client ni uh, sebenarnya minta bantuan di Islamic Bank untuk diuruskan Uh, project ni. So bila dia punya contract period dah nak habis atau dah habis lah The project ni akan jadi milik the client. So the Islamic Bank here uh, no longer have any obligation with the project lah So itu uh, uh, macam nak kata contoh ringkas untuk mencarokah diminishing to ownership ni Okay dan types tu dah uh, settle So, maksudnya nanti untuk jendel pun uh, dia ada bergantung kepada dua types of musyarakah ni lah Okay, first this is uh, how you like recordkan all the journal's entries Okay, contoh uh, the first step 
step dia sama je macam tak adalah sama eh macam lebih kurang sama lah, macam mudah robah kan masa mula-mula kontrak -mula, yang berlaku yang first ni is uh, when we provide the capital to the partner so here uh, nombor satu ni is when we have to record the capital lah kan capital tu is kita punya musyarakah financing uh, account kita name it as musyarakah financing account saya tadi the money capital is uh, 100 lah so you kena masukkan uh, 100 in musyarakah financing account you creditkan cash sebab duit keluar lah time tu 100 so duit keluar masuk ke um, musyarakah financing account so like I said this way uh, kita put ourselves as the bank punya side lah kan okay. and then uh, ni dah settle the first um, Uh, recording maksudnya yang ini kalau macam nak tengok pada structure dia lah the first recording kan uh, this one Islamic Bank they go into masyarakat contract so maknanya dia bagi capital to the project so ini uh, capital yang uh, Islamic Bank provide to the bank eh, uh, sorry Islamic Bank provide to the project tu uh, is the first uh, recording process yang you need to do and then Uh, kan uh, klien kena bayar kan setiap bulan ke setiap tahun ke bergantung pada soalan lah dia kena bayar kan amount of capital yang Islamic Bank ni tadi bagi so uh, kita kena record jugalah amount uh, yang kita dapat daripada repayments from the client ni so that's why uh, second part here okay, second part here is when we record the repayment by the customer okay, masa kita dapat repayment from the customer kita dapat cash sebab tu kita debit cash dekat sini ok debit cash sebab cash kita dapat daripada pembayaran customer uh, sorry klien dia tadi and then kita tolakkan balik dengan musyarakah financing account sebab apa kita tolak balik dengan amount capital kita sebab um, uh, menunjukkan yang klien tu dah bayarlah hutang dia kepada kita hutang dia kepada kita tu is kita dah put it under musyarakah financing account kita ni tadi so kita tolak balik amount dia kan musyarakah financing account ok itu untuk uh, dua second journal untuk the third journal is when we want to record the profit from the business venture tadi tu ok macam lah kan okay. sebab kita kena put ourselves in the bank position So, daripada projek ni tadi kan, projek ni tadi dapat profit, so profit kita dapat okay, ada lagi satu kilo lah so ni adalah profit, so profit ni is the third uh, process not process lah macam uh, recording process lah yang kita kena record dalam uh, any uh, of the equation tu kalau profit, so, same goes kalau dia dapat losses lah kan Uh, losses pun kena di uh, dibahagikan dan di share according to the profit uh, ratio yang diorang agree tadi okay. Eh. Okay. This is how you record the profit yang you terima tadi sebab kita dapat profit so kita dapat cash lah daripada profit itu so kita debit cash account and kita creditkan dia punya profit and loss account sebab Uh, kita dapat profit from the uh, from the from the business venture tadi so ini kita transferkan lah the amount of profit dalam kita punya sochi as musyarakah income sama macam mudah robah tu juga okay. itu kalau profit ok on the fourth uh, general recording pula ni nombor empat dalam slide tak ada dia tinggal ni. Ok, uh, nombor empat uh, is when we want to record any outstanding uh, payment from the partner tadi. Maksudnya tadi kan kita kena terima uh, repayment amount by the customer tapi tiba-tiba dia tak bayar lah on the certain month ke certain year ke. So this is how you want to uh, record it in kita punya book of account. Ok, when we have to like debit dia punya account receivable sebab uh, dia tak bayar lagi kan ni is account receivable nya consider amounts of accrued lah yang uh, amount yang outstanding tu lah accrued amount 
ni adalah uh, amount yang kita yang dia tak bayar yang kita tak dapat lagi okay debitkan dia credit kan uh, musyarakah financing account sebab sama um, ini adalah regarding uh, repayment so bila repayment um, kita kena tolak uh, apa tu still kena berkurangkan kita punya amount capital lah even though dia punya uh, revenue still uh, din uh, receive by us sebab according to kita punya according to accounting concept kan um, accounting uh, apa tu accounting concept punya accrual even though dia duit tak masuk lagi ataupun kita tak bayar lagi kita still kena record that amount in our book of account So that's why we still have to minus kita punya musyarakah financing account here. Kan? Okay, that is the last uh, part for uh, apa tu? journal entries. Settle lah. Now, kita pergi example. Okay, saya dah siap-siap tulis dah tepi ni. Sebab nanti takut uh, stuck lah apa lah kan. Okay, let's see. Uh, from the example one ni, dia macam, uh, ini belum start tricky lagi lah tapi nanti masuk example tu dia dah macam tricky So korang uh, bear with me lah Okay, if saya uh, beli-beli, uh, korang tegur saya Dan kalau korang tak faham, korang tegur saya juga Okay, untuk example one, dia cakap bank syariah provide musyarakah muntanah kisah Okay, ini adalah uh, musyarakah diminishing tapi in dalam bahasa Arab Okay, so syarikat muntana kisah financing to Moonway Corporation for house developing project amounting to 10 million and this amount represent 60% of the total cost of the project. Okay, let's say saya pun dah buat dah dia punya flow. Uh, it is a contract between uh, bank syariah and Moonway. So Moonway ni klien bank syariah lah. So bank syariah ni dia provide capital. Uh, 10 million tu uh, kepada Moonway sebab Moonway ni buat uh, projek dia lah so dia cakap uh, 60% of the capital yang 10 million tadi tu adalah um, sorry ni saya betulkan balik ayat saya this amount maksudnya 10 million ni represent 60% of the total cost of the project maksudnya 60% of the total cost of the project adalah 10 million so saya buat macam ni lah so sekarang uh, what you have to do you kena calculate lah berapa jumlah total uh, cost of the project ni sebab nanti you nak kena kira uh, Moonway punya capital contribution pula okay so the first thing kena kira berapa uh, total cost of the project. So, uh, ni macam matematik dulu-dulu lah. So, 60% times with X, X2 is the total cost. Kita tak tahu sebab dalam soalan tak ada. And dar, sama dengan 10 million. And then when you naik uh, buat macam matematik terms, uh, you will get macam ni lah. 10 million bahagi uh, 60%. Right? Ni kan darab bawa ke belah sini akan dibahagikan kan? So bila awak bahagi awak dapat berapa? RM 1,6,6,6,6 Berapa lagi? 6,6,6 Okay, okay. Now settle first uh, step awak dah buat lah, awak dah kira dia punya amount total cost of the project alright and then dia cakap lagi the terms of financing is for 5 years uh, maksudnya useful life dia is 5 years saya dah tulis juga kat sini useful life dia 5 years and the partner is required to pay back the bank in 5 equals installment yearly ok maksudnya Um, daripada uh, 10 million ni tadi um, the partnership which is the Moonway kena bayar 5 kali dalam masa setahun maksudnya uh, 10 million ni awak kena bahagi dengan 5 lah 
untuk nak dapatkan amount repayment uh, dia ni tadi. Okay, so kita pun buatlah amount of repayment. Okay, ambil RM 10 million sebab amount capital kan. Inilah amount yang one kena bayar balik to the bank. So berapa dia kena bayar bulan-bulan ataupun setiap tahun? Dia kata um, pay back in the bank 5 equals installment yearly. Maksudnya uh, 5 kali sekali. Tapi equal tu maksudnya fix lah. So awak kena hari 5, awak akan dapat berapa? Dua million. So maksudnya setiap tahun Moonway kena bayar dua million lah kepada uh, bank. Kan? Okay. And then dia cakap the profit sharing ratio is agreed at 30-70 which is 30 is for the bank. Um, sorry, 30 is for the partner, 70 is for the bank and assume to be constant for the first two years of the project. Okay. Saya pun buat, dia kata 70 is uh, profit for the bank, 30% is profit for the movie. Tapi dia cakap dia constant. The profit tu constant uh, for the first two years of the project sahaja. Jadi kita buatlah macam ni. Year one, year two, uh, profit dia constant iaitu 70% dengan 30%, 70% dengan 30%. Dan dia cakap, for the next three years, the profit ratio tu uh, bertukar jadi 20-80. Okay, saya pun buat. Sebab useful lah kita 5 years je. Awak tu dah ada 5 years dekat uh, kolom tepi ni. So tadi uh, year ketiga, year keempat, year kelima, dia dah tukar agreed ratio dia kepada 80-20. Okay, so saya pun buatlah macam ni. Okay. And then dia cakap, the profit or losses from the project as disclosed by the partner are as follows. And then dia pun bagi lah dia punya profit and loss yang dia dapat uh, daripada projek uh, ni tadi. Okay, now you have to uh, require to determine the profit or losses based on the recognized by both bank and Moonway Corporation from the year 1 and year 5. Maksudnya awak kena kira uh, the profit and the loss Uh, bank syariah dapat berapa and Moonway dapat berapa untuk setiap tahun ni. Okay. Okay, sekarang awak comment. The first thing tadi awak kena kira uh, total cost of the project. Second part awak kena kira berapa tiap-tiap bulan Moonway kena not bulan. Dia cakap yearly. So setiap tahun lah. Uh, berapa berapa setahun Moonway kena bayar kepada bank. Kita dah kira dah. Okay, now Jawapan dah ada pun kat sini. Okay, now dia, dia buat uh, solution dia in uh, bentuk table. So, as you can see, dia put lah. Sebab ini awak kena ingat, ini ialah musyarakah diminishing. Maksudnya, the amount of the capital akan semakin berkurang. Kan, see nampak daripada 10 million capital, uh, uh, akhir tahun 5 ni terus jadi 2 million. Sebab, Uh, ini adalah capital of the bank. Ini adalah capital of the partner. Partner yang punya capital yang semakin meningkat. Sebab apa? Sebab macam saya cakap, Musharaka diminishing ni is uh, at the end of the contract period, dia punya project akan menjadi milik uh, partners. Jadi sebab tu, partners punya capital ni yang semakin meningkat. But uh, bank ni uh, semakin menurun. Okay. okay, ini uh, 10 million kan? 10 million semakin berkurang berapa? Semakin berkurang uh, 2 million iaitu uh, jumlah yang uh, repayment tadi yang kita kira tu setiap tahun bank akan receive repayment from the partners kan? So, uh, the, the the repayment amount tu kena minus dengan amount capital lah sebab tu uh, setiap tahun tu kan uh, the bank ni terima uh, repayment 2 million, 2 million, 2 million kan? So, uh, setiap tahun tu jugalah kapitalnya menurun 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, 2 million, 2 million. Okay, so uh, ni awak dah tahu macam mana dia boleh turun macam ni. Now, uh, macam mana nak kira kapital yang di provide by the partners? 
6-6-6 ni mana dia bagi tahu dalam soalan, betul tak? So sebab tu tadi saya suruh kira the total cost of the project tadi Here, total cost of the project. Sekarang kita dah tahu kan? Okay, sebab kan uh, bank syariah uh, hanya provide uh, 60% of the uh, capital untuk projek ni so another 40% is the Okay, saya terus di sini lah Another 40% is a capital yang di provide by the pengguna way lah kan? Sebab kita nak 100% sekarang uh, 60% is bank syariah so kita ada left 40% so 40% ni is the capital yang uh, di provide by Moonway. So kita nak tahu berapa 40% ni sebenarnya kan? Berapa capital ni sebab dia tak bagi pun dalam soalan berapa. So what you have to do tadi, the first thing you have to uh, know dulu berapa total cost of the project, baru you times balik 40% dengan total cost of the project tu. Bila you times you akanlah dapat RM6666 tadi 6 million 600 ah like this lah Okay, so ini adalah capital of the uh, partner Yang ini adalah capital of the bank See? Okay Nampak eh? Okay, kita pergi balik ke uh, dia punya table ni. So macam biasa lah untuk first year uh, capital still remain the same uh, which is the bank tadi capital dia still uh, 10 million and um, apa tu partner still uh, 6 6 6 6 6 6 ni and then dia kata uh, bulan tu uh, ataupun tahun tu lah 31st December si partner tu bayar repayment dia 2 million to the bank okay, so dia pun bayar dah kira and then bila dia bayar dia tolak lah sini kan uh, the second year punya capital of the bank jadi 8 million okay. yang capital for the partner ni jadi 8 million 666 kenapa? sebab macam saya cakap uh, kalau bank punya capital uh, menurun 2 million right partner punya capital akan meningkatlah tu million bergantung kepada amount repayment kalau repayment ni dia bayar hanya satu million jadi awak kena tolak satu million untuk capital bank tambah satu million untuk capital partner ok so sama lah uh, sebabkan dia cakap tadi uh, amount repayment dia tu equal ataupun fix jadi setiap tahun ni awak kena tolak dua tambah dua uh, tolak dua tambah dua, bukan uh, bukan dua lah, I mean bergantung pada soalan lah, pulak dengan amount of the repayment okay. so this is how you dapat amount, uh, this one, this one, this one amount 10, 12 14 ni, ok then then untuk ni pula dia cakap, uh, ini adalah ratio contributions ratio kan, for the first uh, untuk first year uh, the bank contribute 60% and the partner contribute 40% so now kita kena calculate tadi uh, berapa persen yang tinggal setiap tahun sebab kan tadi uh, musyarakah ni is musyarakah diminishing maksudnya musyarakah berkurang, berkurangan so setiap um, tahun dia kena uh, capital provide pun uh, akan berkurang untuk bank lah Tapi untuk partner, dia akan semakin meningkat Okay, macam mana nak kira um, The amounts of the capital here I mean the repayment capital, kita nak translate kan it to the percentage Maksudnya macam ni Kan kita tahu 2 million Itu million is the amount of repayment Kita nak tahulah um, In a form of percentage Sebenarnya uh, 2 million ni berapa persen kan? So awak bahagi dengan total uh, Cost of the project tadi Satu berapa tadi? Satu enam 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 kan? Okay. 
you times speed um, 100 Sebab awak nak tahu in percentage Okay Kan kita dah bayar 2, 2 million So capital uh, of the bank akan berkurang 2 million Itu in the form of money atau RM Atau fixed amount Tapi kita nak tahu uh, in the form of percentage So how you calculate it uh, Macam nak find the punya percentage is like this lah Ambil 2 million bahagi total dia Apa? Betul ke ni? You akan dapat 12% Maksudnya capital uh, contribution tadi 60% and 40% ni akan berkurang 12% setiap kali, setiap tahun So maksudnya macam ni kan, 60 tahun pertama, tahun kedua jadi 42 sebab eh 48 sebab 60 ni dah ditolak dengan 12% 12% ni adalah amount uh, repayment uh, partner dah bayar tadi dah So, untuk bank side, uh, capital contribution memang semakin berkurang untuk bank side Tapi untuk partnership side, uh, dia punya capital contribution akan semakin meningkat So, macam ni lah, so 60, 48 berkurang kan So, sebab awak uh, tolakkan 20 12% here and 40, 52 meningkat sebab 40 is partner punya capital kan so partner punya capital kena meningkat lah so sebab tu 40% kena plus with 12% you will get 52% so co the concept of this CCR ni sama je konsepnya macam uh, capital ni tapi capital ni adalah in a form of uh, the exact amount ataupun in RM but CCR ni is in a form of the ratio atau in a form of the percentage okay dan untuk uh, CCR now dia pun kira lah dia punya profit uh, yang diterima oleh bank and also the partner this is the profit and loss yang ada dalam soalan tadi ni untuk ekonomi sekejap saya pun tunjuk lah ni Ni kan dia bagi tadi kan? Okay, so dia pun masuklah dalam kotak ni Okay, and then disebabkan um, macam konsep mudah robah The losses akan di bear by the rock woman Rock woman tu siapa? Rock woman tu is the capital provider So sa samalah macam ni musyarakah uh, Losses akan di bear by the capital provider So sebab dia musyarakah, capital provider ni dua-dua sekali Uh, the bank tu pun provide capital, the partnership tu pun, eh sorry, the partner pun provide capital. So, dua-dua tu is uh, rock bulmai. So, that's why the losses here, 1 million, uh, 5, 1.5 million ni, dia kena times according to the profit uh, ratio lah. Kan tadi profit ratio dia here, 70, 30 untuk uh, tahun pertama and tahun kedua. So, sama lah ambil lah 1.5 million. Darab dengan 70% you will get 900,000 here and darab dengan 30% you will get 600,000 here so, uh, following uh, to the uh, tahun kedua pula lah tahun kedua dia dapat loss juga 1 million jadi 1 million times 20% untuk bank loss for the bank and 30% loss for the partner So this is how you allocate the profit uh, Sama je lah cara nak allocate uh, loss and profit dia Sebab dua-dua uh, akan di loss and profit dia akan dikongsi So tak ada ni seorang je yang kena uh, tanggung So uh, cara untuk you nak times with the uh, pre-agreed ratio tu Sama macam cara you nak times uh, profit and the punya losses lah Then tadi dalam soalan dia cakap Uh, tahun ketiga, tahun keempat, tahun kelima punya ratio dah bertukar kepada 80, 20 so that's why uh, awak kena uh, darab dengan different profit ratio lah macam tadi, yang ketiga dia 2.5 million times 80% we get this one, this one, this one, this one okay dan dan untuk example one ini adalah dia punya suggestion of the solution 
kan kalau korang uh, nak buat ink table like this uh, is preferable but if you guys don't uh, didn't prefer to like prepare ink table macam ni nak calculate satu-satu kan boleh je tak kisah sebab uh, soalan ni hanya nak suruh you kira profit dia je uh, ni lah kiranya profit yang dia dapat uh, bank dapat and also partner tu dapat saja setiap tahun itu je dia punya soalan Okay, ini adalah dia punya working atau calculation for the capital contribution tadi. Uh, ni dia tak tunjuk banyak pun. So, uh, you can uh, just refer to my notes just now how you will get uh, 6 million here and how you will get 16 million here. Uh, so, ni saya dah beritahu dah tadi kan. Dan, untuk example nombor 1. 